Hi guys, uh, welcome to my video for my final project for our Coursera course. Um, I've called my program Organicide. I'm a very keen organic gardener and my aim was to work with the physics engine that we were taught in week four um, and create something usable, workable out of it. Uh, my game is to teach children or adults the importance of beneficial insects in organic gardening. Seeing as we cannot use pesticides, we have to make sure that we are attracting the right insects and so they can protect the plants and kill off all the bad bugs. So I am just going to run the program real quick and show you a little bit of what it's about. When I load the program there will be a splash screen with the instructions and it will play the music which I made in Audacity and Hammerhead. Uh, it's just a little theme tune and let's go. So now we press P to play and we're on the main game screen. You can summon your ladybug by clicking on the start flag and he will appear there and it's very much like the angry birds, uh, sorry the angry droids example except there are a lot of differences here. You cannot crash the ladybug by pulling him off the screen anymore and you cannot cheat by pulling him in front of the flag. He will not go any further forward so you can't just drag him in front of the area to automatically win so your actual drag is very much limited there. Uh, when you let him go the aim is to kill the slug and the caterpillar without killing the bee. And as you can see I am not particularly good at this. I got one of them. Um, and you just keep going. <laughs> There we go, until you have won the game. Um, it's pretty simple really. I'll do an explanation um, after. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a win video and then a lose video. And then I'm going to go through the code uh, a little bit for you guys, explaining what I've added to the original Angry Droids that we had. Okay, so now you have an idea of um, how the game works. Um, a couple of points in the code that I thought I would go through. Um, I did post on the Coursera forums uh, with regards to limiting the area in which you can drag the uh, the ladybug so that it doesn't cause, you know, a crash which it was doing in Java. Um, I've handled all that with the mouse dragged and I have created two new um, integers X limited and Y limited with the aim that they do not go over a certain or under a certain amount otherwise they get set to the minimum or maximum automatically there so that will help you then if you are looking to work on this engine as well on how to stop that crash from happening um, 
while he's dragging he has zero density that so that he doesn't pull in the example he was pulling backwards and forwards every time you were dragging him and it was quite hard to manipulate him because of that so I've set that to zero and then you get a very smooth pull I'm controlling the game using um, a start game boolean and also a game state integer which changes depending on whether the game is currently in play whether it's a win or whether it's a lose um, and then the game responds in different ways depending on whether we have won or whether we have lost um, for example here is my game state 3 for a lose and game state 2 for a win um, I am going to add a lot more annotation to this code so that uh, if you're actually grading the this project you'll be able to go through the code you can download the whole code including the images as well in the Java version so that if you want to play the game and examine the code and tear it to pieces <laughs> you can do that at your own leisure um, things I would like to add in the future will definitely be some OOP so that I can add in more levels score your high score make that saveable um, but I really need to spend some time on OOP which is very new to me so hopefully that will get done some time in the future I uh, really enjoyed working on this it was pretty hard and pretty annoying at times but I'm I'm kinda pleased with the outcome so hope you enjoyed the video thank you bye bye